In today's maintenance video, we're gonna look at how to install a star nut into your fork. Star nuts are basically hammered down into your steerer tube and your top cap bolt of your headset threads down into it, pulls down and keeps everything nice and tight on the front end of your bike. Um, you may need to replace your star nut if it's damaged, they don't often get damaged, or if you've cut your steerer tube down or if you're installing a new fork. Star nuts only really get damaged if you tighten down your headset cap and you don't have enough stem spaces on there and it then winds the star nut out rather than using it to pull down, but that doesn't normally happen. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to remove my old star nut to install the new one to show you how to do it. And to do that really, you just need some sort of tool to keep whacking that star nut down and at the bottom of your steerer tube. I'm going to use this great big punch, but it doesn't really matter, anything metallic. Uh, viewers, if you know a better tool, then let me know. For now, I'm just going to rest my fork onto this rubber mat so I don't damage the bottom of it. And just whack that star nut out. So comparing my old star nut to a new one, you can actually see how they work. The old one, all these leaves are sort of bent up as it's been hammered down. So it then won't pull back out. It'll only keep going down should you want to hammer it out. And that's how you tighten up your headset, just using that friction of the star nut in the steerer tube. To install the new star nut, there's two ways of doing this. There's either the right way, using the proper tool, looks something like this. So what you do is you screw your new star nut onto the bottom of there, and then that sits down over the top of the steerer, basically, so it squares it up nicely. You then hammer that down, and the star fangle nut should go straight down in the steerer tube, because the problem is, if you install the nut slightly on the wonk, then the top bolt for your headset isn't gonna pull down squarely and it can you know, not work properly with your headset. However, in my experience, I haven't got one of these tools, so I've always done it the bodging way, should I say. It's just to use the bolt that comes in the top of your headset cap, thread it all the way through the star nut, line it up and hammer that bolt. I guess if you're really hammering it hard, you could damage the thread inside there, but in my experience, I've never done that. It's very difficult to keep this star nut totally square as you're going down. You'll probably find that as that second set of leaves goes in, it'll straighten itself up a bit better. At the moment, it's slightly wonky, so what I'm gonna do is just hammer this on the diagonal to try and straighten it back up. Keep going around, make sure it's square both ways. And you want to get that nut probably just less than a centimeter down and into the steerer tube and totally square. There you go, job done. I've taken my time going around, just whacking that bolt gently, just to get it as straight up steer tube as possible. And it's about a centimeter down into the steer tube. So jobs are good in, and I'm ready to install that on my bike and go for a ride. If you need some help on how to install your forks, you can just click up there and that'll take you through to the video. Uh, and obviously you're gonna have to reattach my disc brake to this fork. So click down there if you wanna see how to check your disc brakes. Give us a click just in the middle to subscribe to GMBN. It's totally free. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this maintenance video.